If you think you're mad you missed the sell-off today, just think about how I feel. Just kidding, just kidding, guys. What's going on, guys? It's Ricky with TechBud Solutions, and well, I'm not kidding about missing the sell-off. You might actually have a valid reason on why you didn't catch the sell-off this morning. Uh, my reason was I had to go live, and I couldn't find the wire to connect my camera to my computer. So because of that, I spent like five to seven minutes of the market open from when it first opened to find that wire and... NVIDIA aggressively sold off. You guys know that I've been waiting for NVIDIA to sell off. You guys know that we talked about it last week, that if it breaks below 115 per share, which is where it was showing a lot of signs of consolidation, there's some gap down potential to 110 per share. And then if it breaks 110, we can go back down to $100 per share. I was really excited. But just like anything, right, when something aggressively sells off, you kind of begin to ask yourself the question, well, did I miss the sell off, right? Did I miss the move? Is it going to continue to uh, sell off, which it ended up continuing um but i just I, I wasn't as motivated and i wasn't as confident that it was going to sell off because again we can't predict the future so why do we have to pretend to right and sometimes i feel like it's best to play it safe than rather than to be sorry uh with that being said nvidia is selling off uh, and there was a series of economic reports that were released this morning that you know contributed to that sell-off so the first thing that i want to make sure that you guys were aware of and again we provide this for you for free so you guys can be able to do your own analysis with a series of different reports that get released the first one was uh 15 minutes after the market opened uh we saw that the pmi report came out and you guys can see that we came in at 47.9 versus the expectation of 48 and the previous was 49.6 so do i think that that's the only reason on why the market sold off no there's just some negative Negative news right now going into the market. Uh, the VIX index is aggressively going up. If you guys are not familiar with the VIX index, uh, please make sure you take some time to either review LPP um, or Google search it if you want to learn more about the VIX and why when it rises, markets tend to drop. Uh, the ISM uh, manufacturing index also was released this morning, if I'm not mistaken. So let's go ahead and double check that. Yep, uh, ISM manufacturing index, uh, we came in at that 47.2 versus the expectation of 47.5. So again, also lower than what was expected. Uh, the big focus for this upcoming week, um, and it highlights it here on this article, is that later this week, the U.S. Labor Department employment report is expected to take the spotlight on Friday. So again, this is a you, you guys should know that a really big focus right now is how our em unemployment rate is, right? So uh, Wall Street expects that the U.S. economy to add 160,000 jobs in August versus July, which is much lower, 114,000. So we will see if it comes in as expected or if it comes in lower than what is expected. And remember, uh, the Federal Reserve will take that economic data and depending on how aggressive they want to be on their first rate cut, this is where, the, where they can decide, do we want to cut you know, a quarter basis points, half a basis points, three quarters of a basis points. This is where they can make the decision on how confident they are based off of how the economy is doing. The other thing that I can talk a little bit more about maybe in another video is I'm not too sure if you guys heard the news, but Boeing is going through some very negative news. It's down 8.69% today. It is at the lowest point that it's been at since 2022 to lows of 158. And the reason it's selling off is that its workers are going on a strike. And this is the first strike through Boeing in the past 16 years. So in your adult lifetime, if you're anything like me, this is probably one of the most uh, significant moments for Boeing because of what it's going through as of right now. Is this an overreaction? We will see, is this the beginning of a potential aggressive sell-off because we have hit lows of 113? And if things get worse for Boeing, can it go even lower before it actually begins to recover? 100%. But because of this sell-off, Boeing is in my radar of just the stock that I want to pay attention to. It's not that I need to buy the dip on it, but anytime anything sells off, that it um, sells off 8%, it's at 52-week lows. It's at the lowest point that it's been at in the past two years. And then on top of that, it's experiencing something that it has not experienced in the past 16 years. It's not even about, oh, I want to buy it or I want to short it. It's, it's not about that. It's, I just want to, I want to learn on, on how it trades in the next few weeks and the next few months and how it either recovers and why or how it continues to sell off and why. I want to understand uh, because this is a very unique scenario that is presenting itself. And I think it's really important for a beginner to not always be so obsessed about, oh, I need to make money off of this opportunity right away, especially if you're not very well versed with what exactly is being uh, presented. So I think this is a very important um, you know, stock to just be paying attention to, not a stock that you necessarily have to trade because when, when um, news is so crucial right now, if they end up going on strike or if they don't, um, 
the overall direction will, will be based off of that. So very excited to follow up. I'd love to make more videos about Boeing, especially if things either get worse or if it actually begins to recover. So you guys let me know down in the comment section if you guys would like me to. And again, if you want to tune on in to our live trading session to watch me trade live as soon as tomorrow, that is going to be that second link in the description down below whenever it is that you are ready to sign up. With that being said, we are still seeing a strong descending pattern of lower highs, lower lows. I think that NVIDIA is going to most likely continue to sell off because of how weak the market looks. September tends to be collectively um, a very weak month on the overall year. So we'll see if this actually continues as we go into that presidential election. But as of right now, I'm up a few hundred bucks. I took a small position. I updated my LPP team. And if you want to be kept up to date, then it's the second link in the description down below. I appreciate your time. Like always, let's make sure that we're in the year on a green note. Take care, team.